I'll tell you, I take consumer complaints, as I've been doing for 30 years on my radio show, from noon to 3 on 630 KHOW, and you know what I hear about a lot? Moving. Movers. Okay, they start out trying to get estimates, and what do they do? They go to the lowest estimate, and almost every time the lowest estimate turns out to be the highest move they could ever pay for. They get them by phone. Okay? Now, the actual chargers are often double or triple what they were quoted. They can't prove what they were quoted. They don't have anything in writing. Or they have some scribbled down notes. Then they're in a squeeze play. You don't get your stuff. You don't get your stuff unless you pay. So now you're held hostage. It all happens. Here are the main problems. Telephone estimates. No written details. And no background checking. Some people actually hire movers that aren't even movers. They go on the Internet, and when they go on the Internet, they find a moving company. But they're not a moving company. It's a guy in his shorts sitting in his mother's basement on his computer. That's probably what it is. And then he arranges movers, people you've never heard of before, just people to show up at your house. They're moving brokers. I can't tell you, man. I'll tell you, this is a big problem. And we've had, we've had some very good people on our show about moving, and one of them right now coming up is Stuart Smith. And Stuart, let's talk about, first of all, Bueller moving and storage. How many years you've been around? Uh, next year, it'll be uh, 1912, it'll be 100 years. 100 years? 100 years. You haven't been there that long, though. I, I, no, I've preserved well. <laughs> so this place, th this, this industry, how do I say it? It sucks. The industry... You may not want to say that. I'll say it. It does. The industry. They're, first of all, you know, when you're a doctor, you go and you become a doctor. You know you're a doctor. You have an MD. Yeah, or you have a DO. You have a certificate with a mover. Anybody can move. Yeah, it's deregulated now. So anyone with a pickup truck and a couple pads can be a mover. So consequently, that's why we try to explain the differences in the companies that are out there. I mean, there are scam movers and there are movers that are real. And um we give written estimates. Legitimate companies, there are real legitimate companies, and yes. they give written estimates. And um, Stuart, let's talk about written estimates. They're not guaranteed, though. They're estimates. They're an estimate based on what the person sees. We send a, a, a live person out to view your goods, and what they see is what they give an estimate on. And how close are legitimate estimates to what the charges really are? We should be plus or minus within 10 percent. Yeah, but we're not talking double and triple like many complaints I get. Double Absolutely. and triple. Absolutely not. We make mistakes. When we make a mistake, we make it right. Now, another thing I've noticed, when people move, they're given an estimate saying, okay, this move should cost this or we have this, uh, sometimes an hourly rate. What about the hourly rates when they say for three men or two men or six men or this and two trucks, this is what it is per hour? Correct. Is that a way to do it, too? That's a way to do it. I mean, that's that's way we all do it for local moves. OK, for local moves, then you give a quote per hour for the number of people and for the truck. Yes. Or two trucks or yes. whatever. What about moving supplies? One I took the other day had twelve hundred dollars in tape and paper and stuff like that. Well, uh, we include that. I mean, tape is included. If you're going to do packing, we include tape in the packing price. You do? Yes. And you include the paper? We include the so paper. So in other words, the packing price is in addition to the hourly price. Is the that packing right? price right. is in addition. So if I hire a legit mover like Bueller, and I say I want to move, you look at my stuff and you estimate, uh, Tom, four men, two trucks, per hour would be X amount of dollars per hour, and we think it'll be this many hours, right? Correct. Okay. Then the packing, how do you estimate that? Uh, we go in and we estimate how many dish packs, how many 1.5s, by how many books you have. And when you many... give me a price on packing, it should include all supplies. Yes. All right. So then you'll say, this is what you have in packing. Correct. Why would that change, if ever? Uh, well, it could change if you add things. Um, if a lot of times people do say, hey, I, I'm, I'm, I decided to add this. Uh, or they'll say, I'm not taking this, this, or this. And at the last minute, they say, oh, throw it in. Okay, because now. Because moving is strenuous, and people change their mind at the last minute. Right, so it that can would, happen. That could happen. All right. Some of the other big areas, insurance. People think everything's automatically going to be covered. It's not. No, and we don't sell insurance. We sell valuation. What does that mean? Valuation. To sell insurance, you have to be a licensed broker. And we so sell valuation. What is, what is valuation? Because here's why. 
some of these scam movers will sell you insurance or they tell you your stuff is insured, pay this. You pay this, then you find out they never took out a policy anyway. So what do you mean a legit mover? And Bueller's been around long enough, I can say they're legit. In fact, to be on the show, we do background checks and we check them out and we know them for years. So to be a legit mover... What is valuation? When, when I'm concerned about my stuff and I want to protect it, what do I do? Well, I mean, we come in and we give you a val we ask you what your, what your household goods are valued at. And then you verify it, right? We so verify it. Okay, so let's say... By a visual. Okay, you know. so let's say we have $25,000 in stuff. How do I get that protected? Um, we, we, it's, and it starts at $100,000. Okay, we say, well, let's so say... So when it's uh, $1,000, I mean, it's uh, $100 per... Per thousand? Per, th uh, per thousand dollars, yes. So? For six dollars per hundred thousand dollars. Okay, okay, let's put that. So six dollars, and, and what do I get for that six dollars per well, thousand? If it's, if it's a non, uh, we don't, if it's, there's zero deductible, um, then if we break something, we replace it. It's that easy. Correct. So if I pay six dollars per thousand dollars of valuation, I'm covered. Correct. Okay. And it's covered by you, or do you guys have an insurance company? Well, we have an insurance company, but we're responsible for the first amount. Okay. I mean, for, so, we have so, a deductible that we're responsible so for. So there are legitimate ways to protect yourself. Yes. And then, of course, homeowner's insurance <laughs> often covers people. Correct. Uh, beyond a deductible. You should always check that in addition to make sure if it, that you're covered for that. Now, you heard me talk about moving brokers. These are people on the Internet. It looks like it's a company. So I call them. They send people to my home. That's not their company. In fact, they just have a list of people they send out, right? They're not companies. Correct. How, th this is a big problem for the moving industry. Well, the way to differentiate is if you would go through a legitimate, and we all say legitimate movers, that's associated with a van line. That's a good one because do van lines often have good agents? Is, is that a protection? You, it, it is. I mean, we all make mistakes, but... To be associated with a van line, we're all graded on every move. So most of the major van lines, like Bueller would be a Mayflower, Mayflower, right? and we represent United. Okay, so United. There's Allied, there's Allied. North American and Grable. Okay, and, I mean, so, so these major transporters or movers have agents. Yes. So when you say Bueller Mayflower, it's Bueller slash Mayflower. Bueller is the local agent. Mayflower is the... The van line. The van line. We represent the van line for interstate moves. We also... Bueller does the local moving. Right. Part. So you can have a great van line, and if you do, do you usually have an agent you can trust? It, yes. Because it's, if... if okay. I mean, we're not going to do something wrong and lose our affiliation with the van line. I mean, that so would, that's one. If I told consumers one thing to look out for is an affiliation with a van line. Yes. And you can call the van line and say, hey, what about this Mueller? Can you do that? Yeah, absolutely. Or I can call United and say, what about this Johnson? Yep. And the guys that have been around a long time, you respect each other. We do. We all know each other, and we all know what everybody's strengths and weaknesses are, and we now, work together. And... But there are some movers that do only local moves that don't have a van line, but they're good movers. Yes. And so... What do you do there? You, you, Better Business Bureau? I would Bureau. look up Better Business Bureau. Of course, the referral list, Tom Martino. I mean, I would we, also look at their address. I mean, um, if, why is if, that? Well, if they're a legitimate company, they're going to have an address listed in the yellow pages. A real address. A real address instead of, you know, um, you can tell if there's something. And you, can ask, and you can ask for references. Yes. So, uh, Bueller's. If they, if they have a real address, though, they're running a real company because. Right. If they're just operating out of someone's apartment, right. they're, they're not going to list their address. All right, so if you're looking at interstate moves, uh, if you're looking to go outside of the state, uh, interstate moves, I should have said, then you're looking at the van lines, check with the van lines to see who their great agents are because they grade the agents. Better Business Bureau would be good. If you're looking for local movers, ask for references and check with the Better Business Bureau. Check on my referral list. There are many, many good local movers that don't necessarily have national van lines. Make sure they have a real address. They're a real company. And these interstate, when you go on the Internet, it's crazy. I would never go on the Internet for a move unless I go on the Internet to find a mover who's a real mover. I mean, you can use it to contact them, but if they're strictly Internet companies, 
I would say stay away. I would run the other way as fast as I could. You know, thank you very much, sir. You're going to be back to talk about your company, of course. We, we hoodwinked you into this. You didn't probably know we were doing this. Uh, we, we called him up as an expert and said, look, let's focus on these scams. Because just yesterday, I had a woman who was estimated, uh, and, and it turned out to be more than double. And just in tape and paper, she was up to 1200 bucks. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's okay. That, that's what drives us crazy as legitimate movers. We're trying to have a good reputation out there, and they, they hurt our reputation. If you want to call about moving or anything else, 303-Martino, 303-627-8466. Coming up.